Hello, I'm Andrew Walker, the Executive Director of the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. And I'm here to bring you an episode of Cooped Up with the Carter, here cooped up in my house. These are trying times. I always remember a phrase, art has truth, take refuge there. And I wanted to present to you today one of my favorite portraits, a full length painting of the actor Edwin Booth, painted by the great American artist, John Singer Sargent. What I find truly remarkable about this picture is the psychological depth that Sargent was able to capture in this man who not only achieved great fame as the world-renowned Shakespearean actor, but also had the notorious history of being the brother of John Wilkes Booth, the man who assassinated Abraham Lincoln shortly after the end of the Civil War. Can you imagine carrying that burden, that guilt, that shame? But even amidst that, Edwin Booth worked tirelessly to bring Shakespeare's great works to the American populace all across the nation and across the world. He achieved fame of, of great note, but he also carried that burden. And that can be seen, I believe, in this particular portrait. The muted tones, the sense of weight on his shoulder, the almost shrunken body um, that still belies his, his nobleness as he stands uh, forthwith in this particular work. Sargent used a very limited palette, which was unlike what he did in those luxurious societal portraits where fabric prevailed. But here is a man of great character and great notoriety presented towards the end of his life, perhaps reflecting that sense of a burden that he had to carry throughout. It's a remarkable work of muted and limited palette. But within that, I think Sargent was really demonstrating the modernity of his work, and in particular, the Americanness of this particular work. What's remarkable too, is that we discovered this portrait on a member trip to New York City several years ago. As we entered the darkened room of a gallerist, as he turned on the lights, our group was presented with this portrait, this remarkable work of art. And it spurred the institution to investigate deeper and eventually to bring it to Fort Worth for all of you to enjoy. Next time you're at the Carter, when our doors are open and we're back out in the streets, make a point of seeing this picture and reveling in not only its majesty, but in the psychology that Sargent was able to capture. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again. Hi, this is Devin Nallen with the Amon Carter Museum. We just looked at the portrait of Edwin Booth by John Singer Sargent, and I hope that might have encouraged you to ask a friend or family member to pose for you while you draw their portrait. Today, I would like to challenge you to draw a simultaneous portrait of a friend. And uh, today I'm here with my friend and fellow artist, Layla Luna via the web streaming, video streaming app of your choice. And we just drew each other's portraits simultaneously. And I'd like to show you how, um, how I arrived at this portrait of Layla and share some tips and tricks along the way. You'll see that I'm using both a standard number two pencil and a darker charcoal pencil for my drawing. I would uh, usually start my drawing with a light sketch with the number two, but for instructional purposes, I'll draw this diagram here with a darker pencil so that you can see. I would recommend start by drawing a large egg shape in the middle of your page and filling up the full page, dividing that into half across the middle there. And our eyes are in the middle of our heads, so we're going to just locate the eyes right here on this first center line. And we can divide up the lower portion with the nose and the mouth, about in thirds. The corners of our mouth line up about in line with our middle of our eyes. So you can use that as a reference point. And our ears from the eye to roughly the nose. So 
this is my rough sketch to locate and place main facial features. And next I'll switch back to my sketch with the number two pencil. Okay, so now I'm going to use my darker charcoal pencil and start roughing in some details of Layla's features. So now I'm going to give some shading tips and some other technical tips that you can use. Um, I'm going to use a cloth to smudge some shadow. Maybe draw in a little bit more shadow around the contours of her face. which will give some depth to her features. And then I'm just gonna smudge it and I can be a little messy and quick with it and come back in and pull out some highlights with an eraser. I like to use the eraser just as much as a drawing tool as it is a corrective tool. Let's see, let's refine her eyes. So, the top of her eyelashes is pretty dark, and then the shape of her pupil, I don't see a full circle. It cuts off at the top, and then I see the bottom rounded edge of her pupil. And a little bit of shadow around the edge of her nose gives the illusion of depth around her nose. And I don't see her full nostrils here, but I can use just some little semicircle shapes there to suggest her nostrils. And then the crease between her lips is not a straight line. There's a, a dip um, underneath her top lip, and then at the edges, her bottom lip kind of comes up a little bit like that shape. One thing I've noticed about doing several of these simultaneous uh, portrait drawings is some commonalities in the experience are a lot of people are self-conscious about their drawing ability or drawing skills and it's very natural for us to compare each other's skills and drawings with each other. Even experienced artists feel that way. And, uh, and also that everyone can improve. Drawing is a skill that improves with practice and that I think most of us have the capability of, of learning. Um, and there's often a point when Layla and I are drawing each other where we're both trying to draw each other's eyes so we, we both keep making eye contact but then having to look back down at our page and that's a that's a kind of an interaction that's unique to this kind of project I think it's kind of fun awkward awkward at times <laughs> but unique and kind of fun too so we've been drawing for about about 20 to 30 minutes and uh, will you tell us what tools you've been using? I use a 2B and a 4B pencil and I used a little bit of, this actually I said it was charcoal, it's Conte. Conte? Conte crayon. Okay. And needed eraser. Needed eraser. Alright, I mostly relied on the old plastic eraser. Okay, so are you, are you about ready for a big reveal? Let's do it. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> nice! Oh, look at that little flip in my hair. Yay! Okay. Well, thank you very much, Layla.